Okay, Kyan wants to say hello today. Hi. How old are you, Kyan? Seven. And what was today? My first day of school. What grade? First. And who's your teacher? Mrs. Patton. Oh, and did you have some friends from last year in your class? Yes. And some new friends? Uh, yes. Okay, who's the prettiest girl? What's her name in your class? Well, they're both not my girlfriends. Right, I'm just saying if they're pretty, what's their name? Yeah, the, um, Hallie, Hallie and Mia. Okay, and who do you think will be your best buddy this year? Uh, well, Mia sits right in front of me, so she's basically my buddy. Yeah, any guys though? Yeah, my friend Kobe plays football with me. Oh, that'll be fun. Okay, what do you think will be the hardest part about first grade? Um, science and math. What about science will be hard? Uh, well, my teacher said lady, later on in the year, um, we, we go into this room and we can, um, make stuff and if it blows up, just get under the table. She did not say that. She did? Yeah, we get to have science, science. Like, Real science. Yes. Cool. All right. What do you think will be the hard part about math? Ooh, ten plus ten. Do you happen to know what ten plus ten is? Nope. Can you count a hundred by fives? Uh, yes. Let me hear that. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five, one hundred. Whoa! Nice work. What do you hope you learn the most about in first grade? Well, I hope I learn what's 100 plus 100. I've been dying to know what that is. Ooh, that'd be a good thing to know. Yeah. What are you going to do after you know it? Can you put that down for me? Thanks. Um, what will you do after you learn what is 100 plus 100? Oh, I think I'll... Uh, Move on learning 100 plus 100s. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Like uh, 800 plus 800. Ooh, that'd be good. I like that idea. Okay, can you can you watch the net for a second? Um, okay, so tell us, as of today, what do you think you'd like to be when you grow up? Baseball player. A baseball player? Mm-hmm. Well, how old will you be when you're a professional baseball player? Mm, 16, 17. Wow. Do you have a favorite position that, um... Yes. Catcher. What? Ooh, catcher. Oh. It's the toughest player on the team. And the, one of the most important, isn't it? Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Hey, so if you could be any storybook character, so just think about all the books you've read and all the characters and stories. I would like to be the one who wrote No David. That's one of my favorite books. Who's the character now again? No David. No David? Yes. What do you David. like about that character? Oh, well, he is um, a kid who doesn't listen to his mom and gets the fishbowl, throws it somewhere, and plays ball in the house, hits, and breaks a glass. So they're always having to say, no, David. Yes. What do you like about him? Well, it's just a funny book because... My classmates read it and they just laughed because David's, um, after um, it flipped, it landed on his head and the fish was like. <laughs> well, how does that story end after he gets told no so many times? His mom um, says, yes, David, and hugs him. Oh, that's nice. Um, hey, let me ask you this. What does mommy let you do? that least doesn't let you do? Uh, go to go to the pool without my fr with my friends. Your mom lets you do that? Yeah, ride, ride in the back of the truck with them. Oh. <laughs> well, what does least let you do that mommy doesn't let you do? Um, let me... Let me play my video games when my mom says no. Mm. Well, is there anything that Dottie lets you do that mom and Lisa doesn't necessarily let you do? 
uh, go get some friends. And, and go do stuff? And like go on the go-karts at um, uh, um, Yaddy Town and stuff. Mm-hmm. And what do you like to do with Aunt Azure and Uncle Eric right now? Oh, uh, play football and baseball. Yeah. And basketball. Anything special you'd like to do with Uncle Jordan? Um, go swimming in the park on this morning. Yeah. What do you hope you get to do with Uncle Jordan the next time you go to Dallas? Have you thought about that? Uh, go to the same water park and uh, swim in his backyard. Yeah, that'd be fun. And um, do you have a favorite Bible story? Hmm, no, not, not necessarily. Well, what's one of the what's just one of your favorites? Like, do you know who Adam and Eve are? Yeah, that part. That part. Who's Adam and Eve? I don't remember. Oh, okay. I, I don't necessarily have the Bible. At my dad's, it's just, it's just some Bible, but not the whole. You don't have the whole thing down yet? Yeah. What about at Life? It's, just, it's a kid Bible. Well, what about at Life Church, like some of the stories that they teach you about oh, the Bible? Oh, uh, we don't necessarily do the Bible stuff yet. Yeah. That would be in the, um, like, eh. that would be like in the um, fifth grade stuff. Oh, okay. That's when the Bible starts coming up more. Oh, well, maybe Dottie can get you what's called a children's Bible, and we'll read some stories out of that. Oh, I can just bring it from that. Well, you need one at Daddy's and, and one here. Like, you know Daniel in the lion's den or any of that? Okay. So, it looks like you have some special gear on today, do you? Yes. yes. What can you tell us about that? Well, um, this is for catching butterflies. I like that. And what about... And this um for sucking up bugs. And as you can see on my vest... Let me... You can... You yeah. can you can find these animals, frogs, lizards, light-up bugs, tadpoles. Yeah. Are you hoping to find some of those? Yeah, and uh, this, it's, it's like this. I'll show you. Yeah, what is that in your hand? Oh, just a sec. Let me get a part. And these badges right here. Oh, tell me about those. These? Yes. Um, it's, you can sew these on after you, uh, after you get bugs and stuff. Do you have to earn those badges? Yes, yes, yes. By catching yes. certain insects yes. and stuff? And then they just iron on to, let me see that vest you've got on, I like that. Nice. Okay. And, oh, peace. Uh huh. And then what does that, um, what does this do about bugs? Oh, what's that um, for? I'm, I'm fixing to um, show you. Okay. You trying to get your butterfly out there? Yeah. 
and that goes in there and then you can just lock it up yeah oh so when you catch bugs that's kind of the same process that's just yeah. kind of a fake little bug okay so you catch a so fake butterfly yeah and so they can break and then when you're done you if it's a if it's a uh, worm or something uh -huh. dump it out cool and if it's a butterfly that would be hard to catch maybe we can find a caterpillar that's going to be turning yeah. into a Yes, this would be the perfect thing for it. Uh -huh. Stick up right there. Yeah, put butterfly. a little leaf in there for it. Uh -huh. Yeah. I like the idea. Then, when it's a butterfly, you open it. Yeah. Hey, um, all right, well, we're going to wrap this up. I'm just wondering, is there anything else that you think when you're 20 years old and you look back at this video of your first day of first grade, that you wished you would have said that you could go ahead and say now? Um, well, let me put it this way. That was kind of silly. All right. Use your imagination a second. You're 18. Kyan Lamont Hollowell right now is 18. Just think about it. What do you want to say to him? Oh, um, I would, uh, say he's very, 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 very good at baseball. Baseball. He is. He's a catcher, and he's one of the best catchers. So, uh, yeah. Okay. We're signing off then. Bye.